to the 200 300 dang i've been doing this a long time to the 352nd episode of the ucw show check the title the dating apocalypse and post-wall right-wing thoughts oh yeah hate to see it I actually do hate to see it because I find them rather visually disgusting. But since you guys like the content, since you want more of this, um, I won't say hate fuel, but suffering, we will get right into it. Now I'm recording this offline because my ISP is trying to um, internet cuck a Griga. So I can't really be seeing your live comments as I record this, but I'll be watching the premiere along with the Gregas. If you want Chronic to put more of this kind of high effort 
segment cell content out. If you want more segments per minute of undead chronic blathering, consider donating to cashapp.cashine undead chronic. That's cashapp.cashine undead chronic. The link is pinned. If you can't use the cash app, hit up the PayPal at paypal.me slash UCW show. I am 50% sure it has an 80% chance of working. <laughs> Anyhow, we got a lot of stuff to talk about tonight in this short UCW show, although usually I'll talk for three hours and get one hour of a segment out. Now I'm going to go one hour and we should probably get a bunch of segments out. So let's get into it. Oh, this girl. So we have this interesting specimen today. We talked about this earlier. She basically is bemoaning the fact that she's 29 years old and single. She's a girl boss. This tweet by the right-wing engagement farmer, Richard the Pooper Scooper Cooper, who dates single mothers, has 10 million views. And oh, the simps and feminists are mad that we're dunking on her. So let's just address some of that. From Swan Marcus. Uh, looks like he is somewhat right-wing. He's followed by I am yes, you are no. So... Ma right winger. All these right wingers exposing themselves on Twitter these days. Exposing themselves as what? As spineless simps. He says, I cannot imagine being such a effing sociopath that I would watch this video and make fun of the girl in it. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. You can't imagine watching a Western woman who isn't fat complain about how she's single. She's 29. She won the lottery every year for over a decade when it comes to mate selection. And who did she choose? She chose dudes that expanded the Puniti cavern, done put a car jack between her labia lips, nutted, and ghosted. That's who she chose for a decade. And you can't imagine men making fun of her? I'm, am I a sociopath for making fun of someone who made such a horrible mistake? I wonder who you have made fun of, Swan Marcus, not that I follow you, because I don't follow weak right-wing simps. I don't. You disgust me. He says, I hate when women mock men for being lonely, and it's not a better look when red pill dudes do the same thing. What do you mean it's not a better look? What, what do you mean it's not better? You have women like this drowning in options. The problem is, good men, nice guys... Dry her up. Why did they dry her up? Because she has experienced feet upon feet upon feet of Chad and Tyrone. She's blown out. She's used up. It is, she is incapable of pair bonding with a man. And she's definitely not going to choose a good man to pair bond with. And let's, let's see what the comments are. Here I am. Here I am making fun of her and the reasons why. <laughs> She's not even 30 years old and wants to get married. Isn't this what conservative dude bros on Twitter pretend to support when it's not getting in the way of them mocking women for being sad? 30 years old? What's that, 90, 95? I think it's 90% of her eggs are gone. Hey, you want, you want non, he's, he's talking about conservative bros and red pill guys. I'm not going to, a woman who's, has 90% of her eggs gone, is not a good mate selection. Is not. And here we go, the woman here. Yep. Yes, but you see, she could easily have a man who was several leagues below her. Uh, let's just, no, nah, I'm not going to quote it. Let's just do it like this. She is a five that thinks she deserves a nine that's the thing like people go oh she could marry an incel yeah but she could probably date a dude that's five foot five or or how does it work sarah it, it is it like above average being a six out of ten is that the minimum for six foot like you got to be at least six foot to be a six out of ten is that how it works in your hypergamous loosey goosey puniti mind the men who are, quite frankly, better than her, but not leagues better than her, have been approaching her for a decade, and she's rejected all of them. What else we have here? 
She's not complaining about being lonely. She's complaining about not getting what she wants slash feels entitled to. It's difficult to be sympathetic to that. Plus, every man watching knows that her singleness is not the result of having no options. She is the type to not settle. Red Pillars want a barely sentient doormat, and she isn't one of those. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure she is a slave to her fifis. I'm pretty sure a felon who's six foot four have done busted up inside her colon a couple times because he's tall enough. He's a bad boy. She doesn't really think. She never really thought about what she wanted out of life. She never thought what kind of family she wanted. She just went with what dudes made her tingle. That's it. She 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 followed her sexual attraction. A dude that you know ends up getting HIV from a uh, thought from a streetwalker, um, blonde bimbo with fake tatas, and he just couldn't control himself and he didn't rubber up. He got HIV. Are we gonna feel bad for him? No. He should. You should think about the partners you choose. You really should. Crazy. You know, it's crazy because women simps. They don't really ever hold women accountable for anything. And it's not until they hit the wall. It's not until they're five years deep in a career where nobody gives them any kind of sexual validation. And they can't get China Tyrone anymore. And the good guys, my good guys, the dudes in her backup plan have wifed up chicks. That's when reality hits. Try telling her at 22 you should probably date to marry. She'll slap you in the face, bro. Let's get to some more uh, cuckage. Oh, Anna Cox. Oh this broad okay so let's read this diary entry responding to this video i'm so tired of seeing people dunk on women like this <laughs> and she describes herself as rabid capitalist oh rabid capitalist president slash co-founder of based politics <sighs> women like this what they do is they sit at the end of a 10,000 person long human centipede and they chew on the fecal refuse that has filtered down from 4chan and it goes to the goes to reddit goes to youtube goes to normies goes to twitter goes to normies again and finally once she hears the word base she's like oh that's kind of cool that's new to me by the time this chick heard the word based 4chan was like, you know, been using it for three years. But since she wants to get on that, I'm unique, I'm edgy, I have based ideas, I'm so unique, I'm so quirky, quirk chungus kind of thing, she makes a whole company called Base Politics. Well, you know what? That is not impressive to me. It's never been impressive to me. Let's see why she's so tired. Number one, many women would gladly get married at any age. <laughs> <laughs> Go to a college sorority and ask those women, do you want to get married right now? How many women would be open to getting married within a year? Hmm? Just because, Hannah Cox, you would want to get married at any age doesn't mean these thoughts, and I'm not saying you're not a thought, don't get me wrong, I totally believe your body count is above 50, doesn't mean most women want to get married early. Few men are pursuing that in their 20s. Start talking to them. Uh, you know what kind of men don't want marriage in their 20s? Chad and Tyrone. You know what men do want marriage in their 20s? The bottom 80%. So her saying that few men want marriage in their 20s kind of exposes the fact that she's like every single other woman. And if you're not Chad or Tyrone, she doesn't see you as human. If you're five foot four and you're an engineering student and you're not fat, you want to get married to your sweetheart in college, she doesn't consider she doesn't consider you human. So like men don't get married in their twenties. Concerned to her, you got to be six foot two congressman Chad. You got to be right wing conservative podcast Chad. You got to be NFL Chad. You got to be used car salesman, six foot with a ten inch PP Chad. That those are the those are the men she considers human. So the blinders. That's why you just got to keep on roasting them. Because honestly, I roast them because they're stupid. <laughs> like it's, just, it's, it's funny. They're stupid. And they're so ignorant of how the world actually works. So that's why. Let's get to number two. Number two, when women don't find someone early on, we tell them it's about them. It is about them. They just need to work on themselves. Be okay on their own. Per, uh, pursue their own interests. No, they need to go to the gym and go to a church and say yes to the first man that asked her on a date. 
but he's not six foot four. Oh, boo, hoo, 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 hoo. Oh, yeah, he's not six foot four. He's not a man. I don't consider him human. Many do. They use that time and become successful in work, financially well-rounded with hobbies and social circles. She's just girl bossing her. This is just her just girl bossing herself up. She's like, I did that. And then women say they can find a man because they're a boss babe. They can't. I think she's like, they can't find a man. That's what she's supposed to say. She typed this out very emotionally. She's upset because she sees herself in that 30-year-old single woman. People say they can't find a man because they're a boss babe or they're asking too much. I guarantee you she won't date a guy that's shorter than her. I guarantee you that. What they should be asking is why men aren't leveling up during their single time. <laughs> it's your fault. No, <laughs> look, it's your fault. It, it's it's the man who has never been at, never been on a date. It's his fault he can't make himself six foot four. It's his fault he's not jacked. Well, here's the problem, Hannah Cox. Why do you expect men who have been rejected by women like this their whole life, a, a very aggressive five? I can't give her any – she's not fat, so she's a five. But that's it. Why would you expect men who have been rejected by this chick in high school, in college, and in their 20s to just feel so inspired to level themselves up for what? A woman with less than 10% of her eggs left? A woman with student loans? A woman with a body count of 100? Why, why do men have to – why is it always men have to work for the least valuable women? Why? It, we, we need to work for the benefit of low-value women. We need to work to clean up Chad's remains. We need to work to clean up the, the Tyrone Cruz, uh, you know, zinc rag. No. No, no, no. I am perfectly – guys, I am perfectly happy with women like this living a miserable life. This is 100% her, on her. This is her fault. She won't listen to me. She won't listen to the Manosphere. She won't listen to her father. She won't listen to Red Pill. She won't listen to anybody. And so I am more than content for her to live a miserable life. Absolutely. You get what you deserve. Most women don't have crazy high standards, LOL. <laughs> Most women don't have crazy high standards. Well, why is it then women rank the majority of men as below average? Never going to address that. Have you seen any of the Red Pill Bro podcasts? Most women don't have crazy high standards. If your standards exclude the majority of the opposite sex, those standards are pretty high. Now, if you're a high value woman, if you're 18, if you're five foot ten, six foot, if you're six foot tall, 18 year old virgin with bazongas on the front and you squat three times a week, yeah, you know what? You can have the highest standards possible because you're high value. If you're a 29 year old smurfed out Western thought with college debt, you are not worth that much. I'm astounded at the things many women put up with and accept. The bar is pretty low and men still aren't reaching it much of the time. It's men's fault. It's men's fault. It's men's fault that she wasted her teenage years and her 20s. Yeah, it's your fault, guys. They, the dudes that she rejected, it's your fault that she rejected you. It's your fault that she couldn't find Chad. Maybe if you got on your hands and knees and acted like a stepping stool so she could step on your back, she could find Chad and be happy right now. Why won't you get on your hands and knees to help Sloots find Chad? Because I don't care about them. I don't care about Western women. Not in the slightest. Why would I care about them? Why? Only Western women I care about are the ones I'm dating. Marrying. Giving me kids. Or my family. That's it. Furthermore... Why would someone who have used their time to improve themselves and get ahead in life want to settle for someone who is beneath them and hasn't done the same? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So she's improved herself so much and now she wants to settle for someone who is beneath them and hasn't done the same? She's 30. Her eggs are dusty. I don't care how much yoga she does. 
I don't care how much Pilates she does. I don't care how much meditation she does. I don't care how much prayer she does. She will always be beneath me. Always. I have no interest in engaging with romantically or sexually with a woman who willingly destroyed the gene seed of our future children. Does that make sense? Like I want a woman that loves her kids so much she has them when she's 18 and 19. As Anne Rand wrote, long-lasting love requires admiration for one another and you simply can't admire someone who is beneath you, especially as a woman. Well, what if she thinks she's a 10 out of 10? Hmm? So it's men's fault for not <laughs> it's men's fault for not re, for not reaching her overinflated ego. 3. Overall, I'm over this conversation centering on these women and trying to bully them into taking scraps instead of focusing on what needs to happen so that men keep up and become desirable and emotionally available partners in the playing field where genders are equal. We're not equal. We're not equal. I'm close to her age. I'm much better than her. Much, much better. We're not going back to the past. You say that, but when the lights turn off, hmm, the majority of women are not falling for these tactics or going back to unequal partnerships. So it's time to start talking about the future and how to create a society where men and women like and benefit from one another in equal ways. Here we go. Law of self-defense says 80% of women are only interested in the top 20% of men, all of whom are instantly accessible via common dating apps. The bottom 80% of men are invisible to them. These top 20% of men getting all the female attention and action have no need to settle down. Here we go. Anthony Bryant Logan, happy to see he stopped simping. Comments like this let me know that the overwhelmingly the overwhelming majority of women do not understand the lives of men. You know what? I'll give you, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. ABL. Quote from the woman in the video. It's literally not about anyone else. It's just about me and what I want. Yep. One more, uh, one more girl boss defending the girl bosses. Noel, who is a reformed Protestant Christian. You think she was a virgin of marriage? Wait, 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 wait. Any woman who defends a thought is a thought. I have never seen a virgin woman defend a thought, ever. I've actually have never seen it. So I'm going to guess that she was a non-virgin when she got married, but let's see what she has to say. Not everyone has a luxury of marrying young. Well, maybe you should have asked your dad to find a suitor when you were 18. Many women do desire to marry young. I did, but the reality is many men are not pursuing marriage at a young age. The men you date. The men you date don't want marriage at a young age. The men you date are the top 20% of men. The men that want marriage at a young age are too corny for you, too short for you, not jacked enough for you. Do we expect women to settle? You can say no, but do you expect me to settle? Do we expect men to settle? Yes, you always expect men to settle. What self-respecting man would marry this woman and put children into her barren womb, her diseased, smurfed out, well-traveled by many different phalluses womb? Why? Why do men have to settle for garbage? This woman is garbage. She is worthless to me. Oh, but she's skinny. She's a 5 out of 10. Yeah, but what kind of kids is she going to give you? Think she's going to stay married? Like, do you honestly think this chick with the way she acts isn't going to get divorced? So why should men settle with that? To marry ungodly men who lack morals? Oh, you definitely weren't a virgin at marriage. Women have no choice but to pursue a career that will pay their bills and allow them to survive. Women have no choice but to jump on Chad and Tyrone. Women have no choice but to dump their high school boyfriend. Women have no choice but to reject the nice guy. We shouldn't shame these women. They are not radical feminists. She, you are a feminist. She is a feminist. You are both feminists upset that Chad and Tyrone didn't stick around when you were leaking on the waterbed. These are women suffering from a lack of good men in society. There it is again. It's the man's fault. It's the man's fault. It's always the man's fault. I am in the same boat as many women who share the sentiment, but I trust that God is sovereign, kind, and knows what's best for me. Stop shaming single women over the age of 23. 
what's your body count? What's your body count? Tried Human says, it's not like these women who put off marriage until they're 30 are being godly. They're not celibate for 10 plus years while they pursue academic and career goals. If women were abstaining from sex before marriage, you'd see young men become way more interested in marriage. There you go. Oh, we got ABL again. ABL says, women can do whatever they want. Don't blame us for your decisions though. Glad to see you're going, you're coming to the light, ABL. I got sick of your simping. And here we go. This is, here's, here's the big part. Here's the, the gut punch here. Let's listen to her complain for two seconds. And, and being fucking over the fact that I don't have it. I feel like I have done so much work on myself. I have built. Same person, by the way. This is the same person. You see the TikTok tag, Ryan Spencer 51. Let's just watch this. Let's just watch this. I'm ready to start dating again. Nice guy enters the chat. Yep. Are we supposed to feel sorry for this streetwalker? Honestly, am I supposed to feel bad for a woman that wants to date bad boys and is single and she's so upset because she's doing all this work on herself? Check it out, chick. No amount of self-help books and coaching seminars can you go to to convince Chad and Tyrone to stay? Look at this. You, you built like a parallelogram. Look at that. I can find the area of that with a ruler. This, this rectangle, 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 rectangle. Or just square minus the rectangle. Wow. Doing geometry with the lack of curves on her. Geometry is really easy to do when there's no curves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah she doesn't want the nice guy doesn't want the nice guy you know what i that's why i'm okay with her being miserable the rest of her life she got herself addicted to chad and tyrone and she's upset that a leopard doesn't change its spots i just pray to god a nice guy doesn't actually give her a chance when she's 35 because she will destroy him in the divorce she never respected him Godly men never respected them. Men with morals never respected them. Men with actual goals never respected them. Man who drives a fast car and has three DUIs, oh, she'll jump on it. She'll jump on it instantly. Okay, let's enough of ugly women and ugly women talking about ugly women. Let's do some uh, tomfoolery in the West. What do we got here? Drifting around the crackhead. Drifting around the crackhead is crazy. Let's see this. Hey, look, I bet you they can't do it like me, bitch. Hey, thousand dollars. <laughs> this guy's drifting around this crackhead. <laughs> well, look, you know. thousand dollar jeans. Look, how long took the homie shot and bought them all glue. It's how you move when you got shooters on your team. Hey, look, I bet you, bitch. Hey, thousand dollar guns, a thousand dollar jeans. Drifting around a crackhead. Can you imagine? Hilarious. What we got here? Oh, this is this one is ridiculous. Okay. This requires commentary. So we got a dude that thinks he's an actual ninja. Let's see what he does. This dude's dark souls rolling because he thinks it makes him move faster. Oh no. Oh no. No. Ah! Dude, look, look at him creeping through your hood, bro. Look, look, this, this motherfucker's creeping through your hood. He's fucking dodge rolling like a video game. Gets back to his sneaky position, runs up to some business that's literally called N-I-G-G, -G, and then throws up the A. God bless America, bro. He's running away from the scene of the crime. White boy, he's tripping. <laughs> he just... How did he even hit? Look, look. <laughs> we got the, the sneaky walk. 
And we've got the Sneaky Walk. We've got the Dark Souls Dodge Roll. We've got the Sneaky Walk again. we got the business with a horrible name, made even worse with an A. And then we got the dude eating it. Looks like he slapped his hand into the pole. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, this is 10 out of 10 for me. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we got this guy. He tries to jump the turn style. Let's see what happens. He's just done. Dude, he's flopped like a fish. Look at this. Oh, oh. how do you go out like that, bro? <laughs> how do you go out like that? Oh, he's just. Oh, man. One more time. Oh, yep, yeah, that's that's something. Wait, I okay, we got a we got a car crash in uh Cleveland. Let's watch it. I'm going nowhere. That's why he got smacked, cook. He tried to bend the car, nigga, one going nowhere, nigga was spinning right there in the middle of the street, so uh oh, oh shit, cook. God damn oh shit, soda cook. Hey cook, we got the goddamn cook, we got the goddamn minutes of minutes of car here, so what the fuck going on, cut it only in Cleveland, so Cut. That bitch running. Oh, shit, he slide that bitch out of cup. That bitch running off of three AAA batteries out. That bitch running off of uh, uh, vegetable oil. It's <laughs> this motherfucker. He comes up, he's like, what the fuck? He's like, he's like what the fuck happened? <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> Power steering. For going on. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Oh, uh, now we got to get back to the serious stuff. Oh, okay, okay, I'll try. I'll try to stay serious. Angela Rockford with a tweet that got 6 million views. Raising a son and trying to stop him from getting to that red, that incel red pill stuff seems hard, man. Where's his father? Well, let me ask this. this. Where is his father? Yeah, it was just a interesting question to ask if he has a daddy red pill ninja says seems like the red pill is basically a drug the truth is addicting guys you see the truth you want to expand it and know more about it raising a son that's the problem a mother should not raise a son only daughters uh, even then they fuck up i'm gonna say <laughs> <laughs> past breastfeeding and giving a good sense of self-worth raising of children should be done by a man hand him over to his father says i'm so rad it is hard to keep the truth from people says vec absolutely it's hard because mothers become red pilled as soon as their sons get older i don't know what the hell you're talking about there just don't let a single woman raise him Where is his father? Where is his father? If he's lucky, he gets red pilled. He'll fend for himself, want to build a family, protect it, build a career, all without relying on the government, which will lead him to idealistic views about freedom. Much better than becoming the average black man slash a ghetto thug. Steph says almost it's because they intrinsically know it's right. If you're a woman, I wouldn't expect you to understand the biological wiring of a man or his thought process. Men and women are not the same. Doesn't mean one is above the other. I disagree with that. They're equal, but there are roles. I disagree with that, too. Oh, we got this chick. Okay. So, we have this chick. American Indian journalist and podcaster. Uh, Keisha Richardson, so her daddy probably banged a white guy. Okay, let's see what she's got on the plate here. Oh man, look at this! Look at this diary entry. All for what? Yeah, you guys know this image. You guys know this image. I'm sure you do. I can't show it on YouTube because they'll give me a strike. But woman being awful tweeted this image out and it said, "All I'm saying is don't be the guy with the flowers." One body count, two body count, three body count, four body count five body count basically if you don't know this meme it's a bunch of dudes in line to bang a chick and the fifth dude is her husband with the flowers yeah this got keisha richardson in a tiffy she's really upset american indian host of the Karis project 
CCO, investigative journalist, whistleblower, call me wolf. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean, but I'm not going to call you wolf. I'm not a furry. Stay away from the wolves. Stay away from dogs. They don't deserve to be um, sexually assaulted by a Western woman. She says, this is disgusting. Men like this need to grow up, stop complaining like women, and fix themselves and shut up. <laughs> Wait, if I say no hymen, no diamond, does that mean I'm complaining like women? So you're saying women complain? Are you being sexist against women? Are you saying men need to stop acting like women? Huh. But I thought we were equal. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so I need to grow up. I'm pretty sure I'm grown. Stop complaining like women. I don't really complain like a woman. I complain like a man. By complain, I mean make fun of people like you. Fix themselves and shut up. I don't listen to feminist American Indians about anything. I don't. I'm sick of men constantly portraying women like this. Are there women like this? Yes. What's the average body count of a Western woman? Is it five? What's the average body count of a college student? What's your body count? Because <laughs> the meme only shows five people. <laughs> so, so that's a body count of five. Most people would be like, oh, man, she got a body count of five? That's that's awesome, man. Like, dude, that, that, she reaches my standards. I have, like, a thing that says I'm not going to date a girl with a body count over ten. So she's a body count of five. She's basically brand new. Bro. If I handed you an applesauce that five dudes put their penises inside, would you still eat it? Same thing with a woman. No hymen, no diamond. Does it depict most women or what most women want? No. Well, I mean, I think most women have a body count of five. I'm pretty sure that's the truth. Does it depict what most women want? No, because the chick in that picture thinks the first guy rearranging her guts is going to marry her. Yeah, she thinks Chad and Tyrone are going to stay around and date her and marry her and raise her kids. But the thing is, women are too stupid and unguided feminist to understand the message of no hymen, no diamond. You reserve your purity for your husband. You don't give it up in the backseat of a Chevy, of a 1997 Chevy Lumina after homecoming. Shout out to Jessica. <laughs> you know who complains about women? Undercover... <laughs> <laughs> undercover gay losers who get no play wait wait wait, wait. <laughs> undercover i'm not a fed gay i'm not homosexual loser wait are you saying gay people are losers now that's homophobic who get no play but wait 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 wait, wait, wait. if they're gay what do you mean they get no play you got, you got to choose your insults a little more carefully here. You can't say they're gay losers that get no play because if they were gay, they'd be having sex with men. They wouldn't even care about having getting play from women. But think they deserve the best woman in the world with all the qualities of a wife and no responsibility or accountability for the same. This is just cope. This is just you being upset that you have an extremely large body count and men talking to men saying – don't give women like Keisha Richardson a chance because she's been reamed out. She's been used up. Even as a female, I get attention from men every time I leave the house and literally never talk about it online or in person. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Wait, male? 50% uh, of Gen Z and millennial women are going to be single in 2030. So in six years, half of all Gen Z and millennial women are going to be single, unmarried, without children. That doesn't matter. Do fertility rates matter? Do incels matter? Does the economy matter? Does politics matter? All of this is downstream of the manosphere. The issues the manosphere talks about, the rise of incels, the rise of childless, unmarried women, it all affects your stupid little political podcasts topics all of it it's there and i don't even want it i know what real value looks like no you don't when i thought i wasn't getting the attention i wanted in any area of my life you know what i did i fixed myself what do you find a time machine 
I did self-reflection, analyzed myself, and fixed it. Nah, I don't mm, – not off what. She says, I spent more time with God, worked harder, slept more, ate better, and exercised more, etc. You know who deserves God-fearing women? God-fearing men. Uh, you know who deserves a God-fearing man? A virgin. Men who put in the work, men who know how to shut up and solve problems. Well, women are the problem here. And how do you solve the problem of promiscuous, ungodly, loose punited women? You tell other men not to marry them. You tell other men not to give them a goodie bag. You tell other men you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. That's how you solve the problem. You know what makes women masculine independent? Men with this mentality. Oh, it's it's every single time. It's men's fault. I want a virgin. The, re, the, the fact that I want a virgin wife makes you look like a man. Makes you act like a man. <laughs> Under chronic, if only you wanted me in my brown Indian skin, I would be so submissive. Shut up, chick. <laughs> Men with XY chromosomes, but nothing hanging between their legs. Okay, so you know you're saying how you're gonna genital shame people. Men with no respect, men who are emotional and focus on degrading women and complaining rather than assessing problems and finding solutions. Grow up and shut up. Well, let me reply to this tweet real quick. What's your body count? What'd you say? Nope. Lots of words. Lots of words to say you've slept slept with 10 plus men <laughs> stupid fool stupid fool oh here we go we got it we got a we got a griget in chat here saying you're projecting because you know you're the woman in that photo, and you hate that. No hymen, no diamond. Okay. We got another woman complaining about the manosphere. Let's get straight into this one. Adrian, Adrian 8K. Let's, let's get a vibe with this chick. Uh, looks like she's 28, 29, probably could be in 30s. Wow, look at how much of that cranium we can see. Look at that. Wow. Goes way back. Goes way back like the Gucci song. She call, She says, I'm a grateful patriot, dress enthusiast, here for the news and the laughs, and maybe, just maybe, to make some friends along the way. Have a lovely day. Now she's going to get, uh, now she's going to get triggered. Masculine men do not cat fight with women on the internet, period. Okay. Feminine women aren't on Twitter, period. Feminine women don't post bikini pictures, period. Feminine women submit to men, period. I do this all day. Red pill charlatans and their hapless acolytes do this and think they're really done something by dunking on women with zingers such as your thought or your slore. And of course, they're just bitter because their eggs are dried up and it's completely undignified. Your eggs are dried up. Look at your face. Wait. Look at this. Your eggs are dried up, check. Well, <laughs> the only reason getting upset is because you look like Pharaoh Ramses with a wig on. Okay, your eggs are drying up. That's why you're so mad about this. The real flex is being to able to establish and maintain a meaningful relationship with a woman who adores you and would do anything for you. And by the grace of God, creating a family with her. Yeah, and then divorce hits. Then you get divorced. And you get divorced. Oh, man. I've seen the most godly Christian women divorce their husbands and murder their families. I don't know. Let's compare flexes. The real flex is to marry a woman. Mm, no, I think like buying some lands a flex. I think buying a lot of guns a flex. I don't really think getting married to a Western woman <laughs> is a flex at all. Please do not seek advice from men belittling others on the internet. It's folly, especially when there's so many incredible men on here who are actively modeling peak masculinity rather than aping some impotent simulacrum of it. Oh, wow. She must have used a thesaurus for this one. What's your body count? <laughs> it's just, it's like, 
<laughs> it's the it's the ace <laughs> it's the ace in the sleeve to use what's your body count like are you actually a virgin no i don't care what you have to say oh great oh man now we got melanie mack the 37 year old non-virgin divorcee yeah now we gotta listen to this one. let's see she says, fun fact, you can look better as you age if you just eat healthy and find the will to live, LOL. Here she is in 2013. Here she is in 2024. How much makeup does she have here? Like, honestly, makeup, filters. Wait, she's 37. She's 37 now, right? On the right, she's 37. So she was 26 here, 26 here. Here's a quick question for you guys. If you were forced to marry Melanie Mack and have children with her, would you want to marry 26 year old Melanie Mack or 37 year old Melanie Mack? Let's look at her, look at this. I find this grotesque. This is what a woman desperately holding on to her youth looks like. And not even a good youth. She wants to look. She got the little choker on. These thick makeup. The winged eyeliner. The tattoos everywhere. She wants to look like a goth zoomer thought. That's what she wants to look like. Married. Divorced. Non-virgin. Yikes. I said, no. You will never look as good as you did when you were 18. The wall is undefeated. And then I said, now do it without makeup and filters. Do it without makeup and filters, yo. You're scared? You're scared of what you actually look like? Yeah, I'd be too. And here what we got here. The Whatever Podcast replies to this. He says, uh, Done, before and after photos are useless, especially when different background, different lighting, different camera, different focal length, different resolution and quality, different angle, different pose, different makeup, filter usage. And he's replying to this. And what's 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 Melanie Max? Melanie Max peak argument. Okay, fagote. Yeah. If you don't find wait, wait wait if you don't find this thirty-seven year old woman who is trying to look like an eighteen year old goth girl on OnlyFans, if you don't find her attractive, you're gay. It's almost like all these feminists argue the same way. I say, okay, post wall thought. He's right. Look at all the simps in the comments gaslighting, lol. She still won't F them. Cool. He was right, and you were butthurt about it. Truth really got under your skin, huh? Keep coping with your army of pathetic simps, though. Yeah. yeah. Money Mac, your soul is disgusting. Your life journey is disgusting. Your philosophy is disgusting. You are disgusting. You are gross. Okay. Now we got a chick promoting um, child material online. She says, many of you saying younger is always better. Okay, let's go even younger. So men are saying 18 year old women are hotter than 40 year old women. And she posts a picture of herself at 14. She's like, aren't I so hot at 14? What kind of deranged psychopath does this? What kind of woman voluntarily sexualizes herself as a child? Seriously. Like, when I say 18-year-old women are hotter than 35-year-old women, Billy Ray Brandt here, who says, hated by feminists, admired by the feminine, hated by feminists, you are a feminist. You are a feminist. You vote. You have a Twitter profile. You're out here arguing with men. If you're not a feminist, I'm not green. And her her argument here is that I look better as I get older. Look at this. Look. Is this woman attractive? Look at look look. One. Let's let's count the laugh lines. One, two, three, four. 
Look at that neck. Oh! Oh my, look at that neck, bro. <laughs> I can see decades. You know what? I could take a core of skin from her sternum here, and I can go through year by year and tell you the UV levels where she lived. It's like the core of a tree, like count the tree rings. Yeah, this cheek did not put sunblock on her chest right here. Look at that neck. Oh, good. And then it wrinkles in here like one, two, three, four. No, no. You are not attractive. You, you are old, nasty, used up. Go find a simp. And when I say that to her, you know what she does? She posts a picture of her at 14, yo. Why, why are you trying to tell, why are you trying to present children in a sexual manner? Why? Why, why do you think that's an own? Me wanting an 18 year old woman is makes you so angry. You sexualize a 14 year old girl. You are disgusting. You are disgusting. And I say, there goes women again projecting their pedophilic tendencies. LOL. Just because you were out of shape younger isn't men's fault. You're still old. We want younger women no matter what you say. Thank you, Devil Fruit Luffy. Max says you would have looked better at a healthy weight younger and it would have been better for you. I don't understand how it's supposed to prove anything except it took you a long time in your life to get healthy or possibly trying to bait people so you can call them predators. Yeah. She's just, again, I even, whatever. Okay, let's get to the next one. Mojula Ray. Is she attractive enough for me to care? Let's find out. Eat more fish, eat more veggies, do more cardio, outlive these incels and Republican MFers and pee on their grave. Also, F turfs. So is she trans? Um, I don't know. Probably something like that. Okay. Let's let's hear what the maybe trans woman has to say about Harrison Bucker. Moff says, anyone want to tell her? this? Let me just read this Twitter uh, tenant profile. Olivia, 41, stepping back into the dating world after 18 years of marriage feels like embarking on a thrilling adventure. I'm eager to rediscover myself, explore new hobbies, and embrace my newfound freedom. Oh. <laughs> anyone want to tell her? Yeah, she'll find out. And then, not a word Harrison Butker says here should be remotely controversial. He's 100% correct. Those trying to convince women that being the assistant of VP of lending and intentionally childless at age 40 is more fulfilling than making a family and a home are evil. Let's see what this leftist woman has to say. Men are really pressed about women in their 40s and it's all jealousy. <laughs> being jealous of a woman in her 40s is like being jealous of of a dude that has to spend life in prison next to the most prolific serial um, man grapist in his cell. Yeah, no, no. Number one, women in their 40s actually have the same level of sexual interest in them as they did in their 20s. Men do not unless they're wealthy. <laughs> you can deny the wall, but the wall exists. I don't care. I don't care what you say. The wall exists. Two, women have big friend circles in their 40s. Men don't. 20-year-old women greater than 40-year-old liberal hags. Yep. We got one more of these. Amy here says, I turn 40 in less than a week and I could find a hot 20-something man to have sex with me any day of the week. The same cannot be said for most of my male peers. Would he marry you? These are just, they're just zinc receptacles, guys. These 40-year-old women are outing themselves as zinc receptacles. Jake Shields said, but would they date you? Women confuse dating and sex. No, we don't. No, you don't make the decision. The man makes the decision. The man always makes the decision because once you hit the wall, men have all the power sexually. And it pisses you off. Why does it make you so angry? Why does it make you so angry? Because you were daddy's little princess. You always had power over men. And once that dynamic switches, you can't handle it. You actually cannot handle men having power over you in the dating marketplace because you thought you'd be at the top forever. You thought you were just 
by how cool you were. You're so charismatic. You're so smart. You're so quirky and witty. That's why men always wanted you. No, men wanted you because your eggs were fertile and young and could make good children. That's why. But once you let the eggs drop out of you, like a car engine dropping out of a beater, men don't find you attractive anymore. Boo-hoo, boo-hoo, boo-hoo. But why, why should men care? Why should, why should men care? Why should men care about women being alone and single? It's like if Elon Musk spent all his money on Dogecoin and became dirt poor, and then he started begging in the streets, would you donate to him? No. Women have been born rich in the sexual marketplace, and they waste their resources. They waste their eggs. They waste their value. This stream has been a combination of me fighting back against rabid leftist feminists and rabid tradcon feminists. This picture says it all. Today's men, feminists and tradcons. If you want to support the show, if you want to support the warband, if you want more offline stream premieres like this, consider donating to Cash App not Cash Sign Under Chronic. That's Cash App not Cash Sign Under Chronic. It's been Under Chronic, guys. Take it easy. I'm just trying to make all my pockets obese Done with the coochie, I just want the luchi So me and all of my poochies can eat Might rob two chains for his loose chains Take his boot thing, got the PF chains And take him can't get a steak or something Drop kick, yeah, in the face or something Looking at me like I'm opaque or something Nigga, don't I look like Drake or something? Shake a girl, make an earthquake or something Better tell mankind Undertaker coming Wait, back up, back up, I was told it Back up, 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 back I'm in the seven, I'm gonna echo. I'm gonna need you to back up. I'm gonna need you to back up. Yeah. I'm gonna need you to back up. Spilling the tea, you staring the cup. I'm gonna need you to back up. I'm gonna need you to back up. Yeah. I'm in the seven, I'm in the seven, I'm gonna echo. I'm gonna need you to back up. I'm gonna need you to back up. Yeah. I'm gonna need you to back up. Spilling the tea, you staring the cup. I'm gonna need you to back up. I'm gonna need you to back up. I'm gonna need you to back up. From off the top, the flow is hot, I got you shot. Come, 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 come from off the top, you know I be smarter than Spock. Come, 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 come from off the top, the flow is hot, I got you shot. Come, 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 come from off the top, come, come from, come from off the top, from off the top. Can't keep up, you too slow. Top, top. You just watch, I control. Top, top. I take half, you not hold. Top, top. Got your mind. This is a scenario, I'm in your area, this is your burial, definitely Turn, turn, turn up your stereo, get this bitch jumping like Mario, now you ain't fucking with me You do, do, do niggas terrible, I might embarrass you right here in front of your whole family Sick, 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 getting carry on, spitting malaria, hotter than fucking Nigeria this is, the, this is the year of the beer, leave a hair on the chair so they know we was here Staring in the fear like a deer when the car coming near in the middle of the road, bit of beer You don't wanna rock, but the man hands off of the grands Counting up bands while I talk to the fans Knew I could jam, but the top wasn't playing, now everybody wanna be friends? Damn yeah. How you? Said I'm just fine, in the right place, at the wrong time Said I go crazy, out of my mind, and I think back when daddy wrote down That it might scrape, 